Hi and welcome to this video where you will be learning how to create a loan machine. I actually called it a loan machine because it reduces money effort. And a machine is anything that reduces money effort. Simple as that. Alright, this is a loan machine. Let's quickly open the finished product of what we'll be creating today. This is a loan machine and um, I just changed the icon of the HTML file. So if you want to learn how to change the icon of an HTML file, you can click on the link below the description menu and watch the video tutorial there. Now, let's quickly open it and it will pop up on our web browser. So this is a loan machine and uh, we have three fields for it. The first field is the amount loaned, for instance, from the bank and the interest rate is the amount charged or the interest charged by the bank and the month here is the number of months or uh, let me say something like is the number of months that the payment is going to take so for instance if i go to a bank and i get a loan of 10,000 naira and uh, their interest rate is 25 percent and i'm supposed to pay the money for a whole year and in a year we have 12 months so if i enter 12 here and i cl click enter or press the button enter you see the monthly payment is 1041 naira 67 kobo i'm using the naira currency here don't be confused because i'm from nigeria and my country our currency is naira so you can change the currency to dollar or pounds in the course of the tutorial now i'll be using the subline test editor here because um, it's good and it's also colorful i like it as well now this is it and uh, let's quickly start the first thing i want to do is to align all our stuff at the center so whatever we will be doing today will basically be at the center let me add the closing tag for it and uh, the next thing we want to do is to create a form so i'll just create a form and uh, i'll create a form for it and the first thing we want to have on our form is a heading so i'll introduce the header one and um, we'll type in something like um something like a um, workers loan machine i think this is okay workers loan machine and the next thing i want to do is to have our first field the first name for our first field is um let me introduce the break the line break for it is amount loaned sorry amount loaned and uh, there comes our first input so for the first input we'll have it as the, to the type since we are going to be doing with numbers here the type is number now uh, quickly change it to id and for the id this loan the next thing is uh, the mean which stands for the minimum number of the number of numbers that you take for the field and mass for the maximum i would like to enter one million the place order the place order is nera here you can change it to your currency that you use in your country so this is it the next thing is on introduce this javascript function that we'll be working on later calculate calculate so this is just a javascript that will be working java functions rather that will be working on later it's a java function we'll work with that later all right so the next thing interest rate so for the interest rate we just have interest rate where i'm coming interest rate and the input for that is gonna be numbers number type is number then id for the id we just type interest underscore rate and the minimum is gonna be zero and then step step the step i want it to be point one so we just introduce the java uh, function still here also so and the next one which is the last uh, field we'll be entering is uh, the last field we'll be entering is the moons so 
months sorry month thank you mom wanna add the column month comment and you might want to introduce the the paragraph introduce the paragraph so once you introduce the paragraph tag continue and the next thing I'll just copy this since they are pretty much the same I'll copy this now then paste it here then we might want to still leave it as number since we are dealing with numbers I'll change the ID to months for the minimum put one there then for this let's make it 72 the value let's make it one the step let's make it one also I think we're pretty much done with this also now 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 this is all we need for the form after the form we should have where it will our result will be displayed we're talking about this stuff here this stuff so I'll make it head 2 we should give it an ID because we'll be working with it later in a JavaScript so just do this follow me we'll name it payment and uh, that is all for this I think right now because we finished creating the form and the rest thing is to introduce the macro yeah the macro I'm talking about this stuff here this guy floating from the left side to the right side I think it's um, nice it's animative so we might want to introduce that the macro tag will do that take care of that for us so for the macro tag and I want to make the test this to be bold so I'll just type in this and this is hi get a loan utilize it well and pay back with little interest all right result 2017 yeah I think that is good we are good to go and then um, this is pretty much what we need for the bourbon structure of the HTML we'll be working with today this is okay please let's save this try to open it on our browser um, using the Google Chrome here this is what we have for now let's just try something if we try anything it don't work we can only enter our number since we, we just have the HTML here and we don't have the CSS yet so I think um, this is okay for now you might want to stay tuned for the next episode where we'll be working with the JavaScript the CSS also that is the cascading style sheet so thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel Tony Clarus and if you've learned something today please hit the like button below thank you